Hey planner people, welcome back to my channel. It's Shanice here and I am Planners and Tacos. I have a little different video for you all today. So after talking to my boo Jenny over at Birch and Birdie, she was like, it would be cute to do like a Franken planner, Frankenstein, what do they call it? Franken planner on my Erin Conjure. So this planner I just got, it's an 18 month planner. But if you look at it, I did go ahead and take a few things already out, but it's already super thick. So what I did was instead of asking for a 12 month planner, I went ahead and got the 18 month planner so that I can have a bigger coil. That way I can take out the pages that I don't want and I'll just have more space with my coil. So today that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna set up this planner to how I'ma like it. So I did go ahead and tear out some pages with slicing them the good way one by one just so i can have some play pages to play with and not have it looking all janky or nothing like that but what we're going to do is we're going to change out this cover because this cover is not cute so we're going to change out the cover we're going to tape some pages together we're going to tear out some pages all that good stuff and yes yeah, so that's just what we're going to do i'm just going to show you how i get my planner all the way together i like specific covers right so right now i'm into supporting the other black women who came out with different covers for the planner so i do have a wonder woman cover which i felt was good because you know women empowerment but the other covers that i am going through right now are in support of black lives matter and social justice so this first cover or this cover that i'm about to put on here oh i didn't even realize i have my name on it i forgot so i did get it personalized but this cover is called amazing and it's by charity ekpo i think that might be how you pronounce it but charity ekpo which is sekpo underscore art i'm gonna put it down below but yeah so she is the creator of this cover and I just think it's so pretty and I think it's just perfect to go with this gold coil. Oh, it's just pretty. So I'm happy to go ahead and put this on there. So we're just going to snap it in. So, you know, um, overall, after I did my video, like I haven't had an Erin Condren video up in a minute. Uh, and I mean, one is because of everything that went down and two um i have found me a new planner so i haven't needed a planner but i do like to see what everybody has in store and erin condren was the planner that was my thing so i did want to see what she had um coming out uh i did stick to the norm i stuck to the same old regular vertical planner but um, I did want to see everything that they had coming out because I like to just see planners. That's my thing. I like planners. So I did uh, sign up for the pre-launch so that I could get, you know, first hand um, action. I don't know if that's how you want to say it. I don't think that's how you say it. But anyway, just, you know, being the first to see it and all that good stuff. So when you're getting a new cover, y'all, these little, like they don't punch through all of the pieces. So that's what makes it harder your first go around. But after that, it's easy to just take them on and off. But that's why I'm just struggling a little bit there. I'm gonna have to vacuum because I just threw those on the floor. So anyway, we're gonna put the other side on now. I like to be in the know of all the planners and products and just knowing what they're doing to do better. Um, I did see, cause I haven't, like I said, I haven't really been paying attention to them too much, but I did see that they had like the whole Asian Pacific collection where they showcased those artists. Paper Panda was on there. I didn't know she was a part of it, but um, I, haven't, I haven't shot with Paper Panda in so long. Y'all know Paper Panda? She used to have a subscription box. I don't know if she still does, but anyway. Okay, so doesn't that look so cute? I really like that. So it doesn't match the inside of the planner, but that's neither here nor there. Like you gonna, all your whole planner is not gonna look the same the whole year round. Like girl, anyway. 
So I am going to keep the front page, the, you know, the dashboard to the year and this page. But I'm taking out everything from July to December. Yep, so I, I put a little marker here so that I know that that is where I'm stopping so I don't get carried away. But yeah, so we're just gonna pull everything out. If y'all want these pages, let me know. Cause I mean, it's not gonna be cute, but I mean, I'm not gonna go crazy tearing. So we're just gonna go through this. All right, so all those extra pages are out. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to tape with this Tombow permanent adhesive. We're going to tape these two pages together. So this is going to be the second half of your monthly and your dashboard. I don't use that, so I wanna be able to just flip straight to my week. So that's what I'm going to do now is just get that right together. So I usually just, do some tape up here, some tape down below, tape on the side, oops, tape on the sides, and then one down the middle. So then what I like to do is I like to push it all the way to the edge of the planner that way I can kind of get the pages lined up perfectly um like this one's a little crooked but it's fine <laughs> so this one did go a little crooked but I mean that is okay if I really wanted to I could redo it so let's just redo it All right, y'all, so that is it. It is such a good size now. Look how much space you're gonna have to grow if you take out that extra, um, those extra months. So even if you say you wanted to leave a few months in or whatever, I know I saw some people saying that they take out the back end because they go from uh, July to July, or what is it, June to July? No, I think it's July to July. So they usually go July to July. So then they'll take out August through December of the, the next year. 
So for me, since I go year to year or for me, since I go January to January, I needed to take out the months ahead of time. So yes, yeah, so this is how it will look and how much space you have to grow. Let me show you all my 12 month planner from 2000. 20. Yeah, it was 2020 because all that sh happened. So let me show y'all that. So this was my 2020 planner and it was on just your standard 12 month coil. So right here, you could tell the difference in the coil size. So that's really going to help you. So if you're able to, I really suggest getting the 18 month just so you can get this bigger coil because this coil, like we need this. If you're a sticker planner, if you are a sticker planner, you need that extra bit of coil because even right now, my planner is busting off of the coil. <laughs> That's how thick it is. Girl. I might have to take my cover off of this so I can save my cover because I don't want that cover to mess up because that's a good cover. Love this color. This was another Black Artist collaboration. Yeah, this cover is so beautiful. So I'm probably going to end up taking the cover off because I don't need that cover to mess up. But anyway, I was just trying to show y'all again that this is a 12-month planner on a 12-month coil. Picture a 12-month planner on an 18-month coil. This is going to be the better option if you can afford it. I think it's like a $5 upcharge. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. It's either 5 or 10 because I know when you want to do your color coil, I believe that's $10. If I remember to, I'll look it up and put it down below. But yeah, if you can afford it, go ahead and upgrade it to that bigger coil because you'll be so much happier in the end. So again, that is me franken planning my uh, Erin Condren. I don't know what I'm going to do with this planner because again, this is not going to be used until next year if I do decide to use it. So not sure exactly what I want to do with it because um, I'm using a B6 for my PR planners but or my PR spreads. But I don't really like doing my spreads in that. But I felt like it was better than doing like double of the same spread. You know what I mean? But we'll see. So this will also be cute, I think, just to like do pin only spreads. I'm not mad at it. I, I like the theme. I do like the theme of this. So, oh yeah, I had got like some tape somewhere. Somewhere on there. But yeah, so that is what I do to get my planner situated. I take out all the guts from the back, the notes pages, the contacts, the folder. I did save the folder. I didn't like tear it out like my pages. So I did save it. I put it in my planner that I'm in now because I thought it was cute. So I did save that folder, but I took it out of here. I took out the stickers that came in here. So just anything that I know I'm not gonna use and can take out because with those dashboard pages, you can't tear those out because you'll tear out your week. But anything that I could take out, I definitely take out just so I can keep get the most out of these coils because that's really all it is to me is just making sure that I can grow in the planner because I do use stickers. Anyway, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It was simple to the point, you know, just something extra to do for you all. If you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you're notified on the next planner video. And I will definitely see you in the next one. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.